Hey everybody, this is LT Duckweed with what is hopefully the first in a new series of quick how-to videos for KSP. So if you ever had a payload that's pretty large and you can't quite carry it in a cargo bay, but you'd like to use an SSTO to put it up. So the solution to this is what's called an open-ended fairing. So what I'm going to do is take this engine plate, offset it to the desired length, then I'm going to build the fairing, connect it to the end of the engine plate, offset the engine plate back to the base, and then attach the payload. I'm going to go ahead and launch this. I'm going to cheat it to orbit to show you how this works. Alright, so I'm just going to set orbit. I'm going to decouple it and then fire off the separatrons. And you'll see it slides right off the payload. So if this was an SSTO, we could then deorbit and fly back to the ground fully reusable. Now I'm going to show you a common pitfall with this that often leads to frustration and something that stalled me out for a long time. If you take this off of the base and then place it back on, it looks like it's been deleted, but you'll see that it actually still exists, and if we take this fairing and launch it, again we're just going to go ahead and cheat this to orbit. You'll see that when I detach, it instead explodes because it is using glitchy auto struts to attach the payload to the fairing and that's because when you remove it and then place it back on the craft there's currently a bug that makes it think it's no longer a open-ended or inline fairing and it instead thinks it is a standard fairing which automatically auto struts everything inside. Hope this tutorial was helpful for those of you who enjoy building SSTOs and hopefully I will be back with another tutorial soon.